As you're welcome, uh, that was Negaro, one name, as in he actually brought um, this commercial vibe to rap in Nigeria and people felt, oh, this is beautiful, we can actually do this and we can do it in this light and they're doing it and people are making money out of it. So, hey, shout out to Nigga Negaro, yes, I told you that uh, I have two amazing um, talents in the house today. One was um, Israel. Now, with me in the studio, I have Cheesy Fro. What's up, guy? Yeah, I'm good. How so you welcome, doing? welcome, yeah. welcome, welcome. So what's up? How is everything? How is the industry treating you? Oh, wow. The industry is going well. Everything is going fine. We're trying our best. We're doing our best to make sure we keep up with what we're doing and talent and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's cool. All right. So please introduce yourself to our lovely, lovely viewers out there. My name is Obialo Chibike Joseph, also known as Cheesy Froosh. I'm an artist, mm. an actor. Yeah. All right. So now it seems my my um, okay. So everyone, every everyone is an actor, right? We all act. We all act because I mean, whatever you do in life, you cannot ever be live in Lagos and not be an actor, except if you don't want to go that route. Because when you are in Lagos, bus conductor will do their own. Yes. Agro will do their own. Sure. So you must react. You must act and react. I don't want to know how you do it. So we are all actors. So um, let me start from the music angle. How, um, how has it been so far? Has it been easy or has it been difficult, kind of? Well, for me, music has been... That's giving me tough time, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because for now, I'm doing things on my own. There's no sponsor. No label yet? Yeah, so mm -hmm. I just hustle my thing my, my way. And um, at least when I go out, I meet people and tell them I'm an artist. Like, okay, they'll get back to me. I show them my works. I tell them what I do and everything. So ever since then, I just don't put my hope on people like that. So mm -hmm. I just do my thing my way. So. And that's all. Mm. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, uh, you, you can't wait for people. You just have to sure, take that sure. bold step. So, in the industry, who and who are your role model? Who do you look up to? Well, the music industry, um, the people I look at, um, Ricardo Banks, my mm. mentor, and um, the likes of Davido, Whiskey, and Mayo Kuhn. I think for now I'm following their pattern. I know I flow beats and everything, so I follow their pattern. I do my music. I just write my song and follow the, the rhythm and everything. So okay. that's it. Yeah. Okay, so let me just. I like. Let's say I have a blank check now, and I'm like, look, she froze. What's up, man? How how are you doing? How's your day going? Look, I have this mad offer. This beautiful, lovely Mount Warfarin offer. Just name one artist that you like to um, do a collab with, and I will make it happen right now. Which artist will you pick? Um, uh, any artist, a blank check. Any artist. Which artist will you pick? For now, I will go for Mayo Cook because the guy is hot, he's trending, he has so many hit songs and he's. Everywhere. Yes, and <laughs> I just like his music, his vibe and everything. So I can't wait to work with him, anyways. Yeah. Mm, okay, so Mayo Cook. All right, so let's back. Let's, 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 let's relax. Let's come back. Let's come back. Um, how does inspiration come for you? Well, when I'm writing my song and. Mm. Once I listen to the beats, I listen to the beats over and over again, one, two, three times, you understand? Mm. So from there, I get the melody, the rhythm, then I start writing. For me, what I do is, if it's about love song, mm. once I start writing, anything that enters my head first, once I write one or two lines, I'll, okay, I'll, okay, if this is love song, I'll go for love song. But if it's about myself, my hustle, once I start writing, I know what to do. I will, that's how my inspiration comes for me. Mm. So you're not like those people that will go to the um, river bank, go beside the river, and then uh, collecting fresh yeah. breeze and then they'll be right. No, no. You're not like that. You're not like no, that. Yeah. And you're not like those people that once they get heartbreak, they're not right about it. Oh, you've done something like that. I don't think I have any heartbroken song. I don't think so. Mm. My mm. song is just maybe a love song and I'm about my whole soul finished. No negative vibes. No, no, no. No negative vibes. I'm still that. positive about myself. I don't... I don't think negative any stuff, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let us let us now do um, this little game, little game. Okay. Um, never have I ever. Mm? Yeah. So if I ask something, okay. 
if you've done it, say I have. Okay. I ask. If you have not done it, yeah. say I haven't. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever listened to someone's song yeah. and then you take the beat yeah. and then write your own song? I haven't. You haven't. Yes. Okay. Have you ever seen go to, go to the um, studio, see someone recording, and you're like, ah, oh, bro, can I jump on that? Mm, I haven't. I haven't. Okay. Okay. I mean, so you're quite, you're quite, you're quite decent, Jay. Yeah. You're a decent musician. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sure. Yeah, decent musician. So, what about what has been the challenges so far as an artist? What has been the challenges for you? Well, to record song, I because there is no money for now, so mm -hmm. I had to just step back a little for the music. You understand? Mm -hmm. And maybe focus on my my school. You understand? Because I'm in school now, so mm -hmm. then maybe after my school, I can go back to music because because of the money and everything. You understand? So for now, music is on pause for now. So mm -hmm. maybe when money comes up, or maybe. Somewhere around, like okay, let's just go to let's just see what let's just do one or two things. Mm. But I'm open for it. So mm. they're open for any collaboration yes, from anyone. Yes, yes. So for now, I'm still in my my uh, my education. Mm. You understand? So maybe music can come later. Okay. So she's the fro. How did the name come about? How did it mean? Um, Is it because you're fresh? You know, <laughs> no. other stars do. What's that? Actually, actually, it was young cheesy. Okay. So maybe 20, like, 2016, 2015, mm. when, I, when I started music 2017, so okay. it was Young Cheesy before, a lot of people call me, so as I started music, a friend mm. of mine, Crystal, was like, yeah, let's, let's do music, and you have to change this your stage, your name. Ah, uh, why? Yeah, okay. like, that, that name is too, maybe it's too common or something like that, I need something, and that's okay, then I came up with another name, I just had to guy, I don't say another name, and after you tell what, what the name is, I say Cheesy Fruit. Like, okay, um, that name is okay. Let's work with that one. Understand? So, from there, okay, we'll be done. All right, um, we'll go on this short musical break. When we come back, we'll continue. Don't go nowhere, guys. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 